One small town in Wyoming is making headlines across the nation after photos of a man with a live wolf were released. He was fined for the situation initially, but many are hoping for higher penalties. Many eyes have been on Daniel, Wyoming recently, a town with a population of just over 100 people due to one man's actions on February 29th. A signal needs to be sent that this should never be permitted in a civilized society. Never. Outrage has formed across the nation after this photo was initially released by Wyoming newspaper Cowboy State Daily. He committed an act of cruelty. Later, Wyoming Game and Fish released a video of Cody Roberts of Daniel, Wyoming, kissing the wolf's snout and other footage of the wolf in the Green River Bar. Roberts eventually killed the wolf. I don't care what animal it is, it does not deserve to suffer. Avid hunter from Hardin, Montana, Jerome Vandersloot says he is anti-wolf, but is still sickened by Roberts' actions. I can tell you a real hunter would not do anything like that. Roberts was initially fined $250 for possessing a live wild animal. 80% of Wyoming is a predator zone, meaning wolves can be hunted year round without a license or tag. $250 is nothing, is not a penalty given the horror of his behavior. Wayne Paselli, the president of Animal Wellness Action, a nonprofit advocating for animal rights, says Roberts needs to face animal cruelty charges. But Wyoming Game and Fish released a statement saying predatory animals are not managed by the department and animal cruelty laws do not apply to predatory animals. Wyoming does make it a felony to engage in malicious mistreatment of animals. That's exactly what occurred here. And uh, I won't settle and I know millions of Americans won't settle for anything less than that. The Sublette County Sheriff's Office is now actively investigating the incident. Me as, you know, a hunter that abides by all the laws, I believe these guys should be made an example of. MTN News did reach out to phone numbers associated with Cody Roberts, but never received a response back. Reporting and billings for MTN News, I'm Haley Monaco.